2023 Volkswagen Ardian 140TC Shooting Brake Review Wagons were once considered the uncool sibling to the humble sedan, but as SUVs continue to grow in popularity, Volkswagen has turned the tide with the eye-catching Ardian Shooting Brake. 2023 Volkswagen Ardeon 140TSI Shooting Brake Needs more wagon piss common verbatim that I hear from my circle of friends that I've affectionately dubbed the peanut gallery. It comes from a place of love, as some do actually own and drive Volkswagen Group wagons, but the others in this enthusiastic group of car lovers all profess that one day they'll own something that's not an SUV. Enter the 2023 Volkswagen Arteon 140 TSI shooting brake. Although shooting brake traditionally refers to a three-door wagon, the Arteon is a five-door one that looks to be the perfect car for those anti-establishment types. It looks great, is priced in the realms of affordability, and more importantly features space for either an adventurous lifestyle or your lack of understanding on how not to procreate. Is it worth defecting to Club Wagon to stand apart at the school drop-off? Let's find out. How much does the Volkswagen Arteon cost in Australia? The Volkswagen Arteon shooting brake is offered in two different trim levels. Our test car is the first and cheaper of the two, the 2023 Volkswagen Arteon 140 TSI shooting brake. It's priced from $65,990 before on roads, or $63,990 as a sedan, and features a 140 kilowatts per 320 newton meters 2.0 liter four cylinder turbo engine and front wheel drive. The only cost extras are a sunroof, not shown here, for $2,100, or pearlescent paint, as shown, for $900. Standard kit includes swish seats clad in Nappa leather and with heating, ventilation, electric adjustment, two position memory and easy access function, a 9.2 inch infotainment system with wireless smartphone connectivity, and a Harman Kardon 11 speaker audio system. On the outside, you'll find 19 inch Chennai alloy wheels, matrix LED headlights, adaptive dampers, and an electrically operated tailgate. It feels generously equipped, and that's because it is. Our entry-level test car and range topping 2023 Volkswagen Arteon Shooting Brake 206 TSI R-Line pretty much share the same levels of in-cabin technology. This second model in the range features a more powerful 206 kW per 400 Nm 2.0 litre four-cylinder engine, however, as well as the brands for motion on-demand all-wheel drive system. Aside from more power and all-wheel drive, you also receive sporty R-Line exterior styling. The fast one will cost you $73,590 as a wagon or $7,500 more than our entry-level test car. If you do you prefer a sedan pricing starts from $71,590 plus on-road costs. How much space does the Volkswagen Arteon have inside? The first row is inviting, with deeply bolstered seats and a familiar-looking Volkswagen interior both grabbing your attention. The seats not only look nice, but also feel nice, being clad in supple Nappa leather. Their lumbar adjustment is excellent for those with bad backs, and both have heating and ventilation as well. Despite being low-slung, the driver's pew offers decent visibility, and is able to lift up high to suit those more vertically challenged than I, like my wife. Storage is another strong point for the cabin, with a large pair of cup holders and bottle holders meaning both your coffee and your smoothie can join on the morning commute. Why not have both? Although nicely built and well screwed together, the overall cabin does feel Teutonic and rather plain. Aside from acres of black plastic, there's more black grain plastic and some really tiny aluminum inlays. Some slightly larger ones would look great. Another downside is a fiddly aircon system that uses dedicated touch sensitive buttons, and not real ones. The brand has backflipped on the record about removing touch sensitive buttons from its steering wheels, so I can't wait until it does the same for its aircon controls. They are annoying to use when driving meaning their complexity starts to feel trivial and highly unnecessary. 
over in the back, the space is fantastic for a family car. I'm around six feet tall and had no issue sitting behind my driving position. My legs and feet had heaps of room, and my head also miles clear of the roof lining. It's a great space for adults, but also works well with kids' seats. I fitted a rearward-facing Britax Graphene and forward-facing Infasicure Rally Booster seat just fine and without impeding on space in the first row of seating. Things like a third zone of climate control and rear air vents in the back also make it the ideal family car. Boot space is great starting at 565L and expanding out to 1632L with the second row folded. The opening itself is wide and tall, too, making it super handy for trips to Ikea or to pick up bric-a-brac for your home. It's also great for a pram or bikes. Another bonus is that a full-size spare wheel lies under the boot floor. Overall, for cabin space, it doesn't do anything wrong. Does the Volkswagen Arteon have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto? Standard fit on all 2023 Volkswagen Arteon models is a 9.2-inch infotainment system with both wired and wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The wireless system is a bit pointless as it savagely drains your phone's battery when there's no wireless charging to use, so stick to hardwiring with a USB-C cable. The infotainment system uses a good-looking software interface that's easy to navigate and operate when driving, and didn't glitch or error over the week-long loan. One of the best features of its infotainment system, however, is that 11-speaker Harman Kardon stereo. It's crisp clear and decently adjustable, and handles a diverse array of music with ease. Unknown Mortal Orchestra's weekend run sounded bright, twangy and as big as it does on a good hi-fi, and King Gizzard's Kepler, 22B was airy, hugely atmospheric and wafty. It does a fantastic job with percussion, with the delicate-sounding splash cymbal from the intro of King Gizzard's banger finding its place in the mix appropriately. Staging and clarity are no issue depending on your setting, which makes the sound system versatile and well-rounded. Two thumbs up. Is the Volkswagen Arteon a safe car? The Volkswagen Arteon range wears a five-star ANCAP safety badge having been tested way back in 2017. ANCAP's six-year time limit on rating means the current score will expire in December 2023 after which the Arteon will revert to pun rated without a retest. It scored well for adult occupant protection, 96%, and child occupant protection, 85%, but fell down in terms of safety assist systems, 74%. It's also worth noting that not all ANCAP timestamped badges are the same, with the criteria for 2018. 2019 and 2020 plus getting more strict and challenging as time goes on. What safety technology does the Volkswagen Arteon have? Thankfully, the days of having to pay extra for advanced driver assist systems are behind us. Standard safety gear on the 2023 Volkswagen Arteon includes autonomous emergency braking with pedestrian and cyclist detection, maneuver braking front and rear, 360 degree parking camera, adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring and parking sensors at both ends. It's not missing much from its advanced driver assist suite, with features like driver fatigue detection, lane assist system, 360-degree camera, and emergency assist, capable of bringing the car to a halt in the advent the driver becomes unresponsive. How much does the Volkswagen Arteon cost to maintain? Servicing a 2023 Volkswagen Arteon does cost more than a mainstream Japanese car to service. The first three years of servicing cost for $192, $783 and for $192, or $1,767 in total. One good thing about the Volkswagen is its long-distance intervals of 15,000 km or 12 months, whichever comes first. Years 4 and 5 are worth $1,184 and $492, taking 5 years or 75,000 km worth of maintenance out to $3,443. Careplane prepaid servicing is also available, 
bringing three years cervical down to $1,600 with a five-year plan costing $2,600. Insurance costs for driver with no priors came out at $1,517 per annum. That's about average for a car of this type and value, based on a comparative quote for a 35-year-old male driver, living in Chatswood, NSW. Insurance estimates may vary based on your location, driving history, and personal circumstances. Is the Volkswagen Arteon fuel efficient? Volkswagen claims its Arteon 140 TSI wagon uses 6.2 alb 100 km over a combined driving cycle. Over a week of testing, we saw a final result of 7.9 alb 100 km. Our test route was mixed, but we did spend 60% of our time on the motorway commuting between Sydney and the Southern Highlands district of NSW. It's thirstier than the claim so expect to use a bit more fuel than what Volkswagen claims. What is the Volkswagen Arteon like to drive? Although 140 kilowatts per 320 newton meters sound like mega numbers for a 1,600 kilograms car, the 140 TSI model is just right for daily driving. The engine feels responsive, with acceleration from a rolling start feeling brisker than the paper figures suggest. The seven-speed auto is a match made in heaven for the engine, as the spread of ratios has been artfully considered to maximize the engine's acceleration and torque. I'd still prefer a regular torque converter-style transmission, though, as the dual-wet clutch DSG transmission in the 2023 Volkswagen Arteon does have some foibles. It's always the same scenarios that catch out dual-clutch type transmissions like low speed and soft inputs in traffic and trying to reverse park one up a steep driveway or parallel to the curb. After some time you do learn how to use it, but a torque converter would simply be easier and smoother, and probably suit the car more. Volkswagen has switched from using a dual clutch to a torque converter with its non-performance Volkswagen Golf range, so maybe it's a matter of time. Either way, it's still a genuinely comfortable car to mosey around in with low-speed ride quality that feels plush and effortless despite crappy road conditions. It's not soft and uncontrolled, rather the right blend of suppleness with a firm body shell. Out of town and on rural roads, it feels just as lovely to drive. There are adaptive dampers that firm things up in sport mode, but honestly it feels like unnecessary technology for this kind of car. The car is wonderfully composed and comfortable in its comfort setting, so just leave it as is and enjoy driving the thing. I'm sure if you want firm suspension you probably want more power too, so there's the 206 TSI R-Line model for that. The 140 TSI model handles great and feels secure, and the cabin is well insulated enough to make higher speed and poor condition roads quieter than they usually are. And, lastly, the steering feels precise and trustworthy. Should I buy a Volkswagen Arteon shooting brake? The Volkswagen Arteon shooting brake is a comfortable car to drive and poses a lovely alternative to a mid-size SUV. Both the outright purchase price and servicing costs make it decently more expensive than a high-grade mainstream SUV, however, so it's worth considering total cost of ownership before assessing value on a car like this. I would also expect its depreciation percentage is greater than something more popular. In my view, the extra spend is worthwhile, especially if you value the finer qualities of the driving experience. You also get intrinsic qualities with this body type, like a better center of gravity, that make it pleasurable on a country road. If you're flirting with the idea, go and drive it. I reckon you'll find it hard to say no.